Hello, hello. This is Nathan from PictureandWord.co.uk, um, a small web development agency based in the north of England. I also do WP Builds, which is a podcast with David Wormsley. We generally drone on and on about things WordPress related. Anyway, today I'm going to make this up as I go along because I thought this might be quite useful. Um, what it is, I'm going to do a video with Toolset, the Toolset plugin. Um, and also uh, Toolset's integration with Beaver Builder. So I should probably start by demonstrating what I've got installed. So, you know, if you want to try this yourself, you know you should have this stuff installed. So here we go. I happen to have the Beaver Builder agency uh, plugin, which is a page builder. Uh, the agency version uh, means that essentially I can uh, white label it and sell um, sell it uh, as my own. I actually don't do that, but I could if I wished. I also have a plugin called Beaver Tunnels, which I don't think I'll be using, but there it is. I'm going to use Generate Press, the theme, and I've got the premium version. Um, it's made by Tom Osborne, and I would highly recommend it. Very good plugin, and it's free for just about all of the functionality, um, excepting the premium stuff, which is just great, and I think it's about $40 for, uh, for the license for that. Um, I've also got the ultimate add-ons for Beaver Builder um, in order to add one particular section uh, onto the page, which I'm going to try later. I might use it, I might not. I don't know. I don't know. That's how crazy this <laughs> screencast is going to be. Um, I am making it up. Now I've got Toolset Maps, which enables you to create maps. <coughs> Toolset types, which enables you to create custom post types in the WordPress uh, admin area, and toolset views, which allows you to create custom views. We'll see which pieces of these I use. Uh, so, toolset the plugin lives down here, and I have, I'll show you how it works. In order to create custom post types, you would click in here, and you can see that there's the usual WordPress ones of media. Uh, pages and posts, and I've created songs and gigs. This website, you can see the URL here, AC3, uh, is for a few friends of mine who are, are in a band, and I've decided I'm going to build them a website. So anyway, it's to promote their band. I'm going to probably not use the pages I'm about to create, but there we go. So you create custom post types in here, then you would assign fields to them uh, via this menu button here, and I'll demonstrate that as well. And then we're going to create um, some content templates uh, so that we can also show um, a temp. We can show a page for the content type that we create, and we can also create archive pages so that you know any of the archive posts that we create will all be nicely organised. And I've made a couple here. I'll show you what the website looks like at the moment. It's not supposed to be very good. It's literally took me, I think it took me an hour and 12 minutes, something like that. Um, so here we are. Here's the um, here's the guys in the band. Um, this is all done with a be with Beaver Builder. There they are. I live in Scarborough. You can see I've not finished. <laughs> Never mind. And here's a, gear, here's a um, YouTube video. And anyway, so this is a custom post type. It's called Gigs. This is the archive page. And I've organised their gigs. They're playing at the Taj Mahal. They're playing at the Opera House in Sydney. And bizarrely, the Grand Canyon. <clears throat> they uh, have songs. Of course they do. They're a band. They've got a song called Leave It Up To Me, Eliza's Tune and Charles in the Desert. This is great. Listen to Charles in the Desert. Uh, go to this URL here. Uh, listen to Eliza's Tune as well. I've never heard this one. But I know these two are quite nice. If you like jazzy stuff, they're kind of jazzy three very talented guys and there's a blog page but I haven't done anything with that. I should probably say that I've customized with Generate Press's customizer features which are actually really extensive. I've made it red as you saw. I've literally gone through and put the menu in the right place and uh, turned it red and made links go particular colors and so on but you know not a great deal to it. Uh, okay so yeah there it is there's the bits and pieces that make up this page etc. All right okay so uh, I've got gigs, I've got songs. What I want to do is create a custom post type for band members. So I'm going to go into the dashboard of WordPress 
and if I muck this up at any point I'm just going to truck on right through it. So here we go, tool set, post types, now we're going to keep this really simple. I am going to add a new custom post type and because this is band members I'm going to call it, um, well, the plural version. Let's call it members. So this is the people in the band. Singular member. Uh, should I capitalize that? I think I will. Member and then the slug member. Yeah, happy with that. I could change the icon. Shall I? Shall I see if I can find a face? See if I can find a face icon. Oh, Facebook. Yeah, that was bound to happen, wasn't it? What do we reckon? Person? Uh, user? That'll do. Let's go for that. There we go. Uh, now we have that. Right. Now, because I want this to be as simple as possible, I'm going to keep the title. Uh, but in this case, that's going to be the person's name. Uh, I'll keep not an editor. I don't want the WYSIWYG editor because I simply don't want them my clients, if you like, let's call them that, mucking around with, um, you know, formatting and things. So I'm going to remove that altogether. This box here um, tells the custom post type screen, if you like, when you're updating content on that screen. It, it explains what should be there in all those meta boxes. So essentially, I've just kept title. OK, I don't want to use any of these other options. I don't want to use custom post type relationships and so on, so that's all fine. Right, I'm going to save it. I'm going to give it a menu position now. I'm going to put it below gigs. So what that'll do, it means it'll appear here in the menu. So when I save it, we should get a little picture here saying members. Uh, okay, let's save it. Diddle da diddle da diddle da waity 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 Lotsy waity. There we go. Members. Hurrah. OK, now that we're in here, what we need to do is if we were to go into members and click add new, you'll notice that there is very little there. Because we stripped out the WYSIWYG editor and all of that, we basically have a title. Well, this is no good. This is rubbish. So what we need to do is add some fields. So we're going to post fields down here. And essentially what I'm about to do is create a bunch of fields that can be added to that custom post type. So I'm going to give it the incredibly ingenious name of members field group. OK, because I like to be boring and I like to call things with names so that I'll know what they are later. OK, now I need to add a field. Well, I've already got the title, so that's going to be the name of the person in the band. I'm going to put in some spurious things here. I'm going to put in a single line field which is going to be goodness knows let's do um, should we do hobbies no that's rubbish let's not do hobbies let's just be slightly silly height like we want to know the height of this person hmm. I'm going to make it required <laughs> so they have to tell us how tall they are you know what's coming next we're gonna do weight we're going to insist that they tell us how heavy they are. W-I-G-H-T. Wait. There's a slug. Let's make it required. And let's add a new field. And in here, let's put a multiple line one. So this is a block of text, not just one line. And let's call this biographical... I can't type. Biographical data about you. The, I don't know if I can put brackets in there. The band member biographical data about you, the band member. Yes, you. <clears throat> Maybe not. Let's just do that. There we go. Biographical data. Biography. There. <laughs> right. Make this required. Da -da -da -da. Marvellous. Right, let's shrink these down. We've got three. You can click the bar at the top and they sort of go away. OK, so let's reposition them. Let's put that one to the top. So what we'll do is when we enter this data, we'll get the title, which is the band name's member. We'll get the biography, the height and the weight. OK, great. Is that enough? No. We need an image. We need a person image. So let's go into image and call it uh, image. Mm. Let's call it photo because it's more likely to be a photo. Great. Make it required. You can see all these other options. I'm sure you can work these out. Okay, done. Marvellous. Right, so I'm going to save it. And then, just before we go anywhere else, I'm going to say where I want it to appear. 
So I want this to appear on post types of members. Okay, so these fields will appear every time we amend or create members content. Okay, so we'll click apply. All right, wait, waity, 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 save, waity, waity. Okay. All right, done. Okay, now if we go into members, add new, we have, I hope, Yes, marvellous. This page header, by the way, this section here is generated by GeneratePress. I could just turn that off. Uh, it'd probably make life a little bit easier, wouldn't it? Uh, okay, great. Okay, so all right. So I happen to know that there is a man in this band because he's a he's a great friend of mine, Adam Carpenter. Adam Carpenter. Oh my goodness. Um, right, I should have prepared better, shouldn't I? Let's do Lorem. Quick, quick, come on, Lorem. Let's find a Lorem page. You'll do. Ooh, Arabic Lorem. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, let's have, let's have you. All of that. Grab you. That's his biography. It says everything you need to know about Adam. Um, now, I could have made this a number field, but it's just a text field, so I'm going to put that he is one, um, one metre and four centimeters he's really tiny he's not actually that tiny but i'm going to say that he is i'm going to say that he's 100 and no 1934 pounds i have no idea if that is even well that's probably like some sort of articulated lorry or something okay just so happens that i've got a picture of adam carpenter right about there there he is let's insert that hurrah Okay, now I have fun content all about Adam Carpenter. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to jolly well save it. Now the next thing I'm going to do is do the exact same thing with the other guys in the band. So I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to put in some very similar text, but I'm going to modify the lorem. I'll put the lorem in quickly and make it a ton shorter. There we go, so you can see the difference later on. Right, get rid of that, put a full stop. This then is going to be Tom Townsend and he's going to be 7 metres and 9 centimetres. Truly a giant. Weight that much pounds and his photo is there. And the last one, after I've published that, is going to be Add New. There it is, Add New. is going to be Rowan Oliver. OK, here comes Rowan. So paste in the lorem. This time let's make it really short so we can see the difference between the three of them. So this is going to be Rowan Oliver. And he's going to be, he's going to be the tallest. He's going to be 19 metres and 40 centimetres. Yeah, he's huge. But he only weighs three pounds. It's extraordinary. He's very narrow. Uh, there he is. Look at him go. OK, we're done. Marvellous. Now, let's just have a quick look at Rowan. View post. Now, of course, hmm, there's nothing to see because we've only got a title that WordPress out of the box recognizes. So we need to create a um, we need to create a custom post type template for this. So I'll just do that ever so quickly. So here we go. It actually says to us here, it's very helpful. Look, two little boxes, template and archive and it's trying to tell us look you need to create a template in order to show these extra fields down here and you need to create an archive so that when people see multiple items uh, of this content post type then we need something to show them all one after another okay so we'll go to create content template now luckily via the magic of beaver builder we have the option to edit this with the page builder. Okay, now 
you'll notice that this members section has been ticked automatically very clever and what we're going to do now is edit with the page builder now I have done this on another video before but this was about six months ago since I did that so it might be worth showing you so it says we're going to create a members single um, layout so in other words this will be showed on the single pages for members okay and here we are now we've got the post title that's all fab this is the typical beaver builder launch screen so I'm you know I could throw in all sorts of things that I've got your templates which I've got none of template cloud which is a um, ultimate add-ons for beaver builder feature or content pages well I'm gonna click cancel that's what I'm gonna do now I can't remember which of these I want to use so I've no idea which one of these it is I very rarely use these so you know what I'm gonna do you know what I'm gonna do I think I might pause this video find out the right one and then come right back to you because I'm not sure this is the pause button so I'm gonna click that and then it's gonna pause okay I only went and pressed the resume recording button just then that's why we're back okay I am um, I still probably don't know what I'm doing but but here we go I'm going to drab in <laughs> I'm not going to drab anything uh, it's debatable I'm going to grab in a two column layout and I'm just going to do it like this into here is going to be a picture into here is going to be the biography and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put one column underneath and in that column underneath we're going to have the height and the weight so we've got photo uh, bio height and weight okay great right in which case let's grab the photo option in it goes and we're not going to use media library we're going to use URL and because we're using the fabulous toolset integration we get the orange button of joy there it is we click the orange button of joy and we get the option to put in a photo all of this comes direct from toolset so I'm going to say here 300 by 300 but it's pretty much meaningless um, and I'm going to output it as a URL because that's what this text field is expecting. So insert shortcode. I'm going to say ooh, float left. And I think that's probably going to be all right. Yeah, there's Tom. Nice. There he is. OK. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Would he look fun as a circle? No, he just looks weird in a circle. So let's put none. Let's just leave it like that. There we are. There, there's Tom. Fab. Brilliant. Happy with that. Okay, so there's Tom. And if we were to change this box at the top, we could see Adam. There's Adam. And if we do Rowan on the decks, on the mixing decks, there's Rowan. Right, let's carry on as if we are Rowan. Right, we're going to add content. And in this case, I'm just going to keep use a text editor because I just find this to be the simplest way to do it. So text editor, put it on text. And I am going to insert the bio here. So views and fields. Let's click biography. We're in the members field group, by the way. You'll notice it's added um, all of the boxes that we added as custom post type fields here. So if I click biography and there's no additional fields so we'll click insert and we're done save it and there's the biography now you can see if we went back to Tom different picture different text and if we go to Adam different picture different text marvelous now here I don't like the padding on the top so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say advanced and I'm going to say margin at the top should be nothing, nothing at all, nothing. And I'm going to save it, and it looks slightly better. Slightly out of line with this one. Could possibly add a little bit of padding at the top, but you know what? It's fine. Now I'm going to add content, and I'm going to do text editor again, but this time in here. And I'm going to do text, and I'm going to say height, and I'm going to put in the height option insert it and in it goes and we should get the height of Adam appearing here when we save it there you go there's his height brilliant and then I think what we'll do okay we'll 
shift return so that it goes on the just the line below. We're going to do weight insert the weight value. S wait, 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 wait. Insert short code and save it and save it. There they are, fab. I want to boldify those two words, so I'm going to stay in this option here and build it. Go there and build it, which has added strong tags around the text. There we are, there we are, there we are. Fabulous. Right, let's look at Tom. Marvellous. Great. OK, I think we're done. That's good enough for me. Publish changes. Now that means that every time we go to look at one of these uh, posts, these member type posts, we should see it displayed like that. So let's go to members, all items, and OK, let's click on, I'm going to open this in a new tab. So we'll view Tom, we'll view uh, Rowan, and we'll view Adam, but we'll do them in the correct order. And I don't think we need the lorem anymore. We're going to get rid of you. Don't need you anymore. So here we go. Rowan. Looks like Rowan. I mean, it's not very neat, but you get the idea. There's Rowan. There's Tom. There's Adam. Great. So we have um, the slug here, member, and he is Adam Carpenter. We have the slug here, member, and he's Tom. And we have the slug here, member, and he is Rowan. Marvellous. Right, they look great. Close those down. One, two, three. Now, now what we need to do is actually let's go into one of those and click edit. Because now, because we've done that and we've created a content template, look, this is no longer yellow. It doesn't really need that anymore. It's not warning us, but we do need to create an archive. So what we need is an archive so that when we see... Um, the history of the members that we've created, they'll be displayed nicely all on one page. And we're going to keep this really simple. In fact, we're going to basically make it almost the same as the one that we just did. But nevertheless, OK, let's just check this screen. We want it to be a custom post archive for members. That's correct. Now, we've got some nice sorting options here, which I might revisit in a minute. Now, what you've got the choice of um, is how you want it to be um, organized. So you might want it alphabetically by post title or by post author or by post type. I'm going to say the date that it was created. If you'd have used a custom, if you'd have used a tool set field and had a date, you could have organized it by that. So in the example of gigs, I had a gig date and I'd be, I was able to organize the, um, the custom post type archive by gig date so that the most recent ones came to the top might revisit that in a minute and you can add more queries here and so on. However, none of that for me. Because what I want to do, let's close you off. I am happy with all of that, I think. I don't want to pagitate anything. Yep, there, just checking, just checking, just checking. Right, I'm going to go through this little loop wizard, and I want it to be, I want everything to be unformatted, because I'm going to do all my formatting with the Beaver Builder page builder, so I don't want any any of these things. So I'm going to click Next, um, and I want to include in this loop, I'm not sure if this step is strictly necessary, because in a moment we're going to hijack all of this with Beaver Builder, but I'll add the, I'll add the post title. I will add... What have we got? Members. So you scroll down. Songs. I want members biography. I'm going to do this even though I'm not sure that I need it, to be honest, but I'm going to do it anyway because I might. You never know. Height. And finally we'll add weight. Where are you, weight? There you are. Marvellous. And I think we're finished. Close. And I'm going to save that. Not strictly sure this step was necessary. I think I might have come about this the wrong way. Never mind. I'm going to go in WordPress archives down here. And I now have this archives for members and I'm going to edit it here. And I'm kind of hoping that the Beaver Builder option appears because I'm sure that's what I need. <laughs> Uh, 
but I don't see it. Oh, Lord, where's it gone? I don't know, I've probably done something wrong. As a, Yeah, again, I'm going to pause this thing here and uh, come back to you. Well, that didn't take long. Um, I, I know what I did. It wasn't difficult to figure out. So here we go. I am now going to create the archive again, only this time I'm going to tick a particular box that I didn't tick last time, which reveals another option. So here we go. I'm now creating the archive for members. Right, now, following along, I'm going to click on the Loop Wizard button and on Formatted, click Next, and here's the bit I didn't do. I didn't click Use a Content Template to group this field in this loop, which was rather foolish of me. So I'm going to add a field and I'm just going to put the post title and I'm going to finish. And when I do that, look, lo and behold, another pop-up appears, at, sorry, another section appears at the bottom with page builder enabled. And now I can edit with the page builder like this. And look, it opens up in a whole nother page, uh, in a whole nother tab. And I get to launch page builder. So here we go. We're going to try and create... I've gone into a fun accent, haven't I? Why have I done that? Never mind. I'm back. Um, OK. Cancel that. Right. Let's make this real simple. So what we want is a... I want a two-column layout in there. We'll keep it really simple. I'm going to put the photo in this section. I'm going to put the bio in here. No, not sure what I'm going to do. I might put the bio in. Yeah, I'll put the bio in there. And then we'll put a button in another section underneath. OK, so here we go. Right. Oh, and then I might. Yeah, we'll see. OK, so let's put the photo. Ooh, where did that go? Photo in there. And it's going to ask me to select the URL of the photo and we're going to put the photo in and we're going to wait and wait and we're going to do it as a URL and we're going to insert the short code and save it. Now we're not looking at anybody at the moment so let's put Rowan in. Okay there's Rowan now let's put in here, um, so we should get his name there. Let's put in here a bit of, let's do the text editor. And we will do the bio again. I wonder if there's a way of limiting. Probably I'd have to do that in functions PHP, limiting the amount of text. I'll just put the bio. That'll do. Fine. I bet there is a way of encapsulating the short code here in some other fun stuff to make it shorter. Anyway, never mind, that'll do. And then I'm going to add a button in this section, so add content button. Should we just do a simple button? Yeah, let's just add a little button. And text, select icon, link. <laughs> Let's make the link go to the post URL. The current post. We'll try that. That looks about right. Now, do we want any fun items? Um, I think that ought to be okay. Maybe we'll put um, C band member. C member and that's obviously what's written on the button itself always visible save now actually what I might do in here is I might just put a little HR tag um, cancel that no shall I put a little HR tag put another little row at the bottom no, that's probably OK. What I'll probably do, though, is add a little bit of padding at the bottom of this row so that we get, or a margin, I should say, so that we get a nice gap between each one. 
Okie doke. Right. So what's going to happen is we're going to get the person's title there. Let's get rid of a lot of this padding and margin at the top here because it all looks a bit too much, doesn't it? So we'll put top of zero, bottom and top here zero as well. That looks a little bit nicer to me. Okay, great. So each person will be looped through in this archive and we'll see them all just here. So let's click Done, Publish Changes. Now, the way to access this archive page is to use the slug. So if we type in member at the top and cross all our fingers and cross all our toes, then we should see absolutely nothing. Fabulous. So what have I done wrong? Was it members? Maybe I'll just try that. And if not, I'm going to pause the video again and cry into a bucket. No. What have I done wrong? Right, pause. Pause it. Pause it again. Okay. Yeah, again, relatively straightforward to fix. Here we go. Um, what happened was I had to go back into the archives section here and had to select my archive for members and I had to save it. So all I did was go in here this is the comedy of errors video because I've just realized the last 10 seconds I've been speaking with the microphone above my head <laughs> now it's in the right place so that was probably really garbled right what I was trying to say was to fix this I um, I had to come into the archive pages section here which you've just watched me do and um, click save. All I had to do was discover a save button, update. I didn't change anything. It was already blue because I hadn't saved it. Um, and click update. All right, great. Then go to member and you will have to forgive the fact that it's all grey in the background. I probably would rather this was white, but that would simply be a bit of CSS, wouldn't it? There they are, look. There's my archive. How fabulous. And if I click on um, Rowan, I hope I get a page full of Rowan. There he is. There he is. Look, brilliant. And go in here and we click um, Tom. And we get Tom, just there. Now, it looks to me like I didn't put the title in, so I probably should have actually put the title in at the top here, which would be trivial to fix. I sh shall I do it now? Do you want me? Do you want to see me do that? Is that even a thing that you want to see me do? Oh, let's do it. Let's just do it. Okay, so go into Toolset, go into WordPress Archives, close those down. Don't need those open. Okay, it's the Archives for Members. We're going to edit it. I now know why it opened in a new window when I click the next button because it wants me to have the other window open so that I can actually go back and save it. So when I go here and edit with Page Builder, it opens in a new tab so this stays open so that I could then have clicked Update, I guess, or something along those lines. I'm not sure. It's probably now all fixed and set. Launch Page Builder. Here we go. Let's add a title in with an H3 with an H3 tag. Okay, brilliant. Now then, let's edit you, little fella. Okay, let's put in insert fields and views, the post title as stored in the database. Yes, yes, yes. But let's encapsulate you in an H3 tag because we want you to be big. And we'll save you, and we'll save you, and we'll publish. Okay, I don't know if some by some clever Ajaxiness this will have been updated. No, it doesn't look like I need to come back anymore and do anything of the kind. So what we shall do is go to member, like that. And now we should have title. Yeah, there you go, H3 tags, Rowan, Tom, 
Adam. Now this has been about the most terribly organized and deployed video ever. I, I would be very surprised if you've seen a worse street screencast in your life. So poorly managed was it. But um, I just thought I'll throw it together and just see how it goes. I was making it up as I went along. And so that's how real life is, isn't it? You muck stuff up and you fix it later on. Anyway, hopefully that was useful. I was making archive pages for the band AC3, who are awesome. And I'm going to say goodbye. I am Nathan Wrigley from pictureandword.co.uk. And this was me doing a video. Now I'm not going to click pause. I'm going to click stop. Now.